to the post office to drop off some shipments and then I am at Blick's now. Um, I just need to grab a few things for my project for school. Um, I thought I would just kind of, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I thought that I would just kind of update you guys a little bit. Um, just because I haven't talked a lot since I launched my Etsy. After I launched my Etsy, I took a little break and um, I fell into a little bit of a, a depressive state. And that was a few weeks ago now. And I think today's kind of the first day that I'm actually feeling myself again. And I'm leaving the house and I did my makeup, so I'm finally starting to feel better, and um, it was just, it's just been a very intense couple of weeks, and I was just kind of thinking how, how scary and intense depression can be, because it really does feel like this cloud that just follows you around, and you literally can't get out. There isn't a way for you to see a way out. Basically the best thing that you can do, or at least for me, was just time. And it was, it's such a privilege that I have to allow myself that time to let that cloud pass, if that makes sense at all. When you have depression, it's, it's just, it's, it's really hard. <laughs> um, it's really hard to do anything and there is no possible way for you to make it better. Or at least for me, I just had to let myself feel and I never thought that it was gonna end like yesterday. Yesterday I was thinking that this is gonna last forever and I'll never be able to get out of it. And, and then today I just, just felt better. And I, th there is no explanation for why I feel the way I feel, but that's just kind of how it is. I was just struggling the past couple of weeks, but I feel a lot better and now I'm at Blix and I'm gonna get myself some art supplies and yeah.
this is voiceover Lily. Um, I thought that I'd try to do a little voiceover because I know when I'm working I like to put on some videos and listen to someone talk even though it's not anything deep and profound but here I was just showing you guys what I got at the art store. I got some new gouache paints and a ton of new colored pencils and this is my first time ever having the Prismacolor pencils and I absolutely love them. I was so excited to get some new art supplies because I think I was feeling a little bit stuck, didn't really know what to draw and sometimes just some new art supplies is that push that you need to feel inspired again. Um, so I was super excited to go to the store and pick out new colors I didn't have and I can just tell like the quality in them makes me feel like I I leveled up <laughs> in a sense but yeah I I also thought I'd just come on here and let you guys know I, I'm doing I'm doing okay and I'm doing better um, I know that the clip in the beginning is a little bit sporadic and scattered but you know that's kind of where my head is at thought I'd kind of try to explain how I was feeling in hopes that maybe someone else could relate if you can even understand what the heck I'm saying but yeah so I just spent a lot of time this week using my new colored pencils I got this book at the thrift store for two dollars that has to do with um, drawing basics and I was just kind of going through the book and practicing my perspectives and there's a chapter on human figure and I'd really like to go through that. <laughs> I think it's it's a little scary and daunting <laughs> because it's such a hard thing to master and I really would love to get there at some point. Oh, also, um, I received uh, my letter from my pen pal and uh, it's, it's such a joy opening those letters and I've always wanted a pen pal and it is just so much fun and it was like 12 pages long or something crazy like that and it just made me so happy <laughs> then here i was working on a project for my art class we had to construct a life-sized cardboard human <laughs> and so like for two weeks i had this cardboard lady sitting in my room every time i walked into my room it freaked me out um, but yeah, so then the next step was we had to create a charcoal drawing of our uh, model and I just had a blast doing this. I've never used charcoal or charcoal pencils um, and just the way that you can kind of blend it and mold it into this 3D figure was so much fun and I was like really shocked at the fact that I could even like render this cardboard person <laughs> but then it was time to deconstruct her it was a little sad she was kind of like my little friend that hung out in my room with me <laughs> but yeah here i am just taking her apart i don't know why but i gave her cardboard boobs um i think that was a weird element on my end but also I thought it was really funny so I did it anyway <laughs> then I decided to do some cleaning and redecorating as we've now entered part two of COVID lockdown just trying to keep myself occupied so I decided my bookshelf needed some dusting and some some decoration sprucing so I was just cleaning all my stuff and I've got a lot of these antique bottles that I just absolutely adore. I don't know what it is, but I just really, really love old glass bottles. I think they're freaking cool. Um, and then I, this, this bookshelf is kind of, um, the only space in my room that doesn't have much function. It's more of like a decoration element. Um, and I've been trying to test out having a color palette in my room, which is funky. <laughs> and I really like greens and oranges at the moment. I don't really know how that came about, but it just sort of happened. And 
it's just a fun thing that I have in my room. I've got all these plants and things, so I love to just use this bookshelf as a little space for me to put out things that I love and something just really visually pleasing to look at in my room because, you know, it's kind of messy in here. <laughs> and uh, I like to look at something that feels very much me in its essence. We're coming up to the end of the vlog here. I was just doing some random things. I've been doing some acrylic still life paintings. I think those are a really good way to practice when you don't really know what to draw and you don't feel like coming up with original ideas and whatnot. Um, so I painted these fish. I was actually relatively pleased with how it turned out. But um, yeah, I, I've just been chilling. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video, um, you know, caring a little bit about my daily life, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.